Alma Madrigal, a young woman, loses her husband Pedro while fleeing her home from an armed conflict, but manages to save her three infant children Julieta, Papa, and Bruno. Through a miracle, Alma was able to hold on to a candle that was imbued with magic, which allowed the Madrigals to live in Ascension Casita and give refuge to the refugees, who went on to found the town of Encanto. Under the Casita's watch, Encanto expands, and the magic bestows a family of superhuman abilities known as gifts upon the Madrigal family, for which Alma becomes more popularly known as Abuela. It revolves around the way in which magic interacts with gifts. Mirabelle, Abuela's granddaughter, is now ready to accept her gift from the magic candle. She needs to enter a magical door that also gives her access to a sizable room in order to gain her magic abilities. It simply vanishes when she turns the magical door's knob. Bruno is now cut off, along with Mirabelle, Julieta's youngest child. Bruno and his precognitive ability are demonized because of the unpredictability of his visions, which caused Bruno to one day vanish. Mirabelle, however, is completely without the gift, even though she is not as isolated as Bruno, the family still treats her differently. She pays a visit to the community one day and shares with the kids about her family and the various forms of magic that exist within her family. The youngest son of Papa, Antonio, is scheduled to receive a gift on the same day. When she is assisting with the decorations, Abuela advises her to leave the job to those who have magic instead of messing it up. Antonio is hiding under the bed when Mirabelle enters her room, and since he enjoys animals, she gives him a handmade stuffed leopard as a birthday gift. Antonio gains the confidence to carry out the ceremony from Mirabelle. Antonio gains the ability to communicate with animals when he unlocks his magical door, and the entire town rejoices. While Mirabelle is delighted for him, she is nonetheless disappointed by the absence of her own talent. The candle flickers that night, and Mirabelle notices cracks appearing all around the house. But when she tries to show everyone, everything returns to normal, leading the family to further doubt her. Later, when she discovers that Abuela does, in fact, believe her, she makes the decision to keep the magic. She goes to talk to her cousin Dolores, who has the magical gift to hear anything about how she can contribute to keeping the house secure. She reveals to her that she overheard that Luisa's eye has been flickering, which is a sign of bad luck or her anxiety. She goes to talk to Luisa about it. In surface pressure, Mirabelle manages to persuade her to admit that she feels burdened by the family and that she felt weaker when she noticed the cracks. Given that Bruno once had a vision regarding the family's magic, Luisa suggests that Mirabelle visit his old room which is actually off-limit for everyone. When Mirabelle enters, she discovers that it is a sizable sand-filled cave. She asks Casita, the magical house, for assistance, but she is told that the area is off-limits. Along the way, she is helped by a friend Hornbill of Antonio, who eventually takes off after becoming alarmed. She finds a vision inside the space that purports to depict Mirabelle as the culprit behind the house's collapse. After they depart, Luisa admits that her strength is waning, and Abuela warns Mirabelle not to talk to anyone, especially her ideal older sister Isabella, who can make flowers appear, since Isabella is set to get engaged that night to a local man named Mariano. Mirabelle asks the family about Bruno, and they respond by explaining how frequently his predictions came true and caused trouble. Such as how his vision about rain led to Papa, whose mood controls the weather, being married in a hurricane. Dolores then overhears Mirabelle talking with her father about Bruno's prediction. The dinner and the proposal are soon ruined as Dolores is unable to keep Bruno's vision a secret, with the house once again beginning to crack in everyone's powers, beginning to falter. The family blames Mirabelle, despite her pleading she had nothing to do with the incident. That night with the Guzmans, Mirabelle notices some rats taking the pieces of Bruno's vision and discovers a hidden passage in the walls behind a painting, finding a cloaked figure that she chases. 
When she falls through the floor, the figure saves her, though it is then revealed the hole is not very deep, revealing himself as Bruno. He never actually left and instead hid within the walls as he still cares about his family. Mirabelle eventually convinces him to have another prediction. However, Bruno tells her that he'll need a bigger room to perform the ritual. Antonio then shows up and offers his room for them to use, as the rats informed him of everything. Together they go to Antonio's room and do all the preparations to perform the ritual for vision. Mirabelle and Bruno's vision starts the same as before, but Mirabelle notices a butterfly. They follow it and it eventually leads to them finding a solution that involves Mirabelle having to hug it out with Isabella. Mirabelle is not pleased with the situation, but Bruno tells her that she, not Isabella, will ultimately decide Casita's fate before going back into hiding. Mirabelle decides to apologize to Isabella for ruining the engagement dinner. After a brief argument, Mirabelle learns that Isabella feels burdened by being perfect and that she never wanted to marry Mariano and was only doing so for the family. This causes Isabella to embrace her true self by making more wild, exotic, and carnivorous plants and both sisters forgive each other and hug, fulfilling Bruno's vision, seemingly healing the house and magic. Abuela discovers what has been happening and accuses Mirabelle of hurting their family out of spite for not having a gift. Fed up with her mistreatment, Mirabelle angrily snaps at her for always seeing her as a disappointment and putting too much pressure on the family to be perfect. Revealing that Abuela is the one who has hurt the family and the miracle and she is the reason Bruno left. At that moment, the house begins to break apart as it tries to get everyone out to safety, Isabella, Camillo, and the rest of the family lose their gifts as the magic quickly fades. Mirabelle stays behind to try and retrieve the candle, but it disappears before she can reach it. The casita uses its remaining magic to shield her from its collapse, and the madrigals are all left homeless and powerless by the disaster. Heartbroken and guilt-ridden, Mirabelle runs away to the river. Everyone begins to look for Mirabelle, but they can't find her. Then a remorseful Abuela soon finds her. Abuela mentions that the river is where Pedro perished and admits that everything was indeed her fault. She sees that she forgot that what made everyone special was that they were a family, and Mirabelle recognizes the burdens Abuela carried having to build up the family alone. Mirabelle then notices the butterfly from the vision and understands that she has to hug Abuela. Now understanding each other better, Abuela and Mirabelle reconcile and share a hug before Bruno appears, attempting to take the blame for what happened to the house. Bruno reconciles with Abuela and the rest of the family, admitting to Peppa that him mentioning rain on her wedding day was not actually a prediction. Just in joking about how much she was sweating, and they all decide to fix the house together. The entire village soon arrives to help as thanks for all the family has done for them. When Mirabelle has finished building the house, she hangs the special doorknob her family made for her on the front door. As soon as she does, the house comes to life and the magic starts working again. The madrigals receive their gifts back, but this time they can use them however they please rather than using them to be perfect, as the town's residents come to see Casita alive once more. Dolores and Mariano also begin dating after it is revealed that she has always had feelings for him. They all assemble for a family photo this time with all the members present, including Bruno and Mirabelle, and Bruno is welcomed back into the family.